Welcome to FX Street. If you like what we're talking about, you like the content we are producing, head on over to YouTube, hit our channel, hit the subscribe button, and you can follow Akash and I individually on Twitter with Akash at Mangyeko Zero and myself at Just Analysis One. Taking a look here at Ethereum. So when we looked at Ethereum on Tuesday, um, you know, when Akash and I were looking at it, it had broken out above this bear flag channel and it looked like it you know was going to sustain a move above that and on wednesday of course um you know it was spending a good chunk of the day above it, then it dropped back down so it's returned below the, the it's returned inside the bear flag channel showing a false break but um overall it, that that's a that's a fairly bearish event however you know when i'm when i'm looking at it you know we looked at this this same trade idea on um tuesday and it's still very active and what's really kind of almost um counter i don't know counter is the right word for it but there's a very very powerful bullish setup something we just kind of looked at on bitcoin's chart we have this uh entry here on the uh Fifty dollar three box reversal point figure chart. There's a buy stop at forty eight fifty, stop loss down at forty six hundred, and the profit target up is up at six thousand two hundred fifty. The entry does two things. It's a breakout above a triple top, but also this pattern one that we just looked at on Bitcoin too. This is a bearish fake out setup. Um, I mean, if you're aggressive, this could be considered a shakeout pattern too because it it. Uh, the shakeout patterns are only a bullish shakeout pattern is only valid at the bottom of a move or if there is a breakout of consolidation expected, which is what you'd see here. So this would be like a renewed new expansion phase for Ethereum where that 6250 might might be fairly conservative. Uh, but anyways, the that, that's what I see on Ethereum. It looks pretty good here to go on the long side. I don't see a ton of downside potential and if there is i mean that downside risk isn't really changed at all for me that it, i would see it down to the 3300 value area that's that's what i would see i'm not sure what you see akash i think i agree with you i'm also leaning bullish on ethereum so so let me just uh, explain the thing that i have here uh i did an article today morning so so the first thing is uh, we're going to look at this particular swing high of 15th November at 47.71. Uh, when Ethereum kind of you know uh, went below this low here, swing low at uh, 39.60, it collected liquidity resting below these lows and formed a base of sorts and then rallied 22%, collected liquidity resting above this high over here. And, uh, you know, uh, it's right now it's, it's pulling back, but... There are two things and how to play out. The first thing is we go above uh, and collect the liquidity or maybe retest the all-time high from a double top of sorts at 48.78, which is the all-time high. And then if we're extremely bullish, uh, Ethereum continues to go higher. But right now what I'm expecting, which is the second scenario, is for it to dip here below into this uh, zone here. I would, I would gladly uh, take the retest of the 62 fib here at 42.42. Uh, and I want to long here. If, if I do get this, I'm definitely going to long Ethereum. Uh, in which case, uh, the targets are going to be easy. First would be the all-time high at 48.78. Uh, after that, it's the 5,000 psychological level, right? Uh, but the <clears throat> I would keep my position open uh, for 5340 and 5662. Uh, but the only thing concerning is uh, Bitcoin. Right, uh, right now it's chopping. So I guess there's there's a free uh, path for a lot of altcoins, including Ethereum. But if Bitcoin were to, you know, probably break down the 53k level, uh, head retest the 50k, uh, I think things would still be fine. Uh, but if we lose the 50k level as a support, then I think we'll have to reevaluate this uh, bullish thesis. Uh, but for now, what I'm expecting is a retest of the 62 fib here at 42 42 which may not come i just want to mention that uh if it does come i would definitely long ethereum here and uh, look to probably take profits around the 5000 psychological level and keep uh, a small chunk of the position open uh for these two levels here at 53 40 and 56 62 
so basically this is my plan for ethereum uh nothing complex or complicated so yeah all right thank you akash and thank you everybody for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe